Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this UJS video tutorial, we will see what is the dynamic component, how we can use it. These are the steps of the video. We will see what is dynamic component. Then we have to make the two components sign in and sign up. We will import this component in the view app dot view file. Then uh, we will see how we can use the component tag for dynamic components, and we will use the button click to change the component. So, what is the dynamic component? So changing the component on a event base is basically the dynamic component for example uh, maybe you have some button on a button click you just want to on a first button click you just want to show the home page on a second you just want to show the about us and a third you just want to show the setting page all right so now you can think that okay this is easy we can use it with the if condition and we can also use a switch case whatever we want but uh, you just provide one more way and this is the recommended way which is the component tag dynamic component component with the component tag so now we will see that how we can use it so first of all we need a two component so just use here sign in dot view and uh, after that let's make one more component sign up dot view like this so just add some template tag div and then h1 and here we can just write here um, sign up component perfect and now let's add a little bit script we can put a name and on the name basis let's put a sign up that's great and uh, in a similar way we can just do it in sign in so just change it with the sign in name of the component and the text as well okay now let's import in the both of them in the uh, app component import sign in from component and then sign in great similarly let's use the sign up as well sign up great now you know that we just have to register this component inside the components object and we can just simply write here sign in and sign up and we can just show here like if i just remove this h1 tag or comment it then perfect we can show it like this and here just use sign in both are showing here but i just want to show on a conditional basis or dynamically load so that what i need to do i need to do actually put the name of or you can see that the alias for them all right so just put here sign up right and we can also just just use here um, sign in or something right yeah one thing i don't need to put the columns here so i can just make it free all right so now if i just replace this sign up in a small cases then they will still going to work all right because we put the alias here okay so we have a issue here so let me check what is that yep i have to just use here in again uh, 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 uh. okay let's now it, it will find so uh with a similar way if i just want to use here a component tag like i just want don't want to use them like directly so i now i want to use a component tag and let's close it all right and uh, here if i use is and uh, i can use it with the v bind and just use here component name like sign in by default all right and it should be like this 
it will still not going to work because we have to sh make a property for it so let's use a uh, data and uh, for the data let's define a property with the name of cmp and by default let's make a component uh, by default let's share the sign up i think we can show the sign sign up and if i just put here cmp then you will see sign up component is showing here and this is completely dynamic right and if i just put here sign in then now we have a sign in component here so now let's make it more dynamic with a button click so just put here button and uh, write here load sign in and uh, sign up as well and i am just going to define a button on click like say update cmp and here i am just going to pass here uh, sign in component right and it should be a string don't forget to pass is the pass like it a string because otherwise it's not going to work then uh, after that we can just put here um, sign up all right so what we are seeing here we have the two button but still not changing because this function is not defined yet so now let's make methods property and uh, here let's define this method and uh, it will get the parameter with the item and here we can just use here this dot cmp is item that's great now they are dynamic so let's say i just want to load the sign up load it sign in also load it so if we have the more buttons then we can just make uh, simply uh, add one more button here and uh, pass the parameter so this is the way that how we can just make the buttons dynamically if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and please like this video bye bye take care